Becky and I'm going to maybe just show you a quick tutorial on how to change the bodice to make a back like this. Um, right here I have the back bodice. What you want to do, just kind of eyeball in the middle. How big do you want your little diamond? Um, I'd like to leave a little extra room at the top here for the collar and just to give it another line down there and what you want to do is when you fold it here I'd like to make sure to go under the arm by a little bit just to make sure it's kind of secure it catches I'm just going to fold that right there and that's for actually the top piece um, for the bottom back. I want to make sure I get into the arm here because I'll sew it while I sew the arm. And I'll just fold that piece here. And you can kind of see, get a picture of what your diamond's going to look like. Um, first thing I'm going to do is cut out the back. And I don't want to cut it on the fold, I want to cut it mirror. So I'm just going to pin it. I just have some French terry here. Um, like I said, I'm just going to pin this back and put it around. Okay. And here we have the bottom back piece. For the top, I actually just want this. And I have this folded, so it's going to be the mirror piece. Put it down. Remember, I guess you could add the half an inch here. I didn't add that much on the last one, so I'm just going to leave it. So I'm going to start here, and then we have the top two pieces. Oops. Right here. So what I did on all of these inside pieces here, just to kind of finish them off before I even started, I just folded these over and finished them. However you'd normally hem it. And I did the same with these pieces right here. Hem those in like this. Hem, hem. I'll go do that and cut a front piece and then I'll show you how to finish it off. So what I did here was I folded over um, the inside of the diamond on the bottom of the bodice and I did the same thing on the inside corners of the top part of the back bodice. And then what I did is uh, just stuck right sides together and surged those. And for the heck of it, I drew a square line on my table here. It might be helpful to line things up. And see, you want to keep the arms matched up. I'm just going to do this for now. Match this side. Want it to be even, obviously. And then, looks pretty good right there. I'm just going to clip here as well to hold it in place. And now, all you need to do is just put the tank top together 
as you normally would put one together. Right sides together. Nope. Then we'll sew, you sew the shoulders first. Get all these lined up and pinned. And you want to make sure, I kind of always pull the little tip out past the line so you know for sure it won't end up on the front side of your shirt. Just clip. And then next you'll want to do the sides of the shirt just like you normally would. And then I tend to add the bands after the fact. I'll sew these pieces on the arm together when I sew the bands in. Okay, as you can see here, I've sewed the sides together, but I still have these clipped to the arms. So now I'm going to do the bands. Um, you can just do the bands according to your pattern instructions. Alright, here I just want to show you adding the sleeves. Make sure you grab and stick both of those pieces together instead of sticking the front piece and back piece together. And And just like on the sides, gotta make sure, if you can see here, I make sure to pull that little corner past the edges, otherwise you may not catch it and it will still be showing on that side of the shirt and that's frustrating. It's never happened to me before, of course, right? Okay, and you'd want to do that to both sides, but I just wanted to show you to make sure to pull the corner out just a little ways past the edge. Here it is with the armbands and neckbands on, and a little bit earlier I cut some straps, two inch strips, and I just made sure, I just cut them nine to 11 inches just to make sure I had enough. And right sides together, you'd sew the edge and then flip these out you have the nice outside showing. And the fun part of this is making whatever decoration on the back you'd like. You could do some weaving. I think it all looks cool. Um, straps could be whatever size. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to come from down here and maybe if there was a bow. I don't know, whatever you'd like to do. Place these under here, how I want them. Then what I did, make sure they're straight and all that, pin these on. And what I did, I'd do that to all of them. What I did on my last sweater was I took the cover stitch machine and I just went right over where I stitched here, just across the band. But I notice sometimes it does pull away from here, so it might be worth, you know, just hand stitching without it showing in the front, just a little closer to the edge to give it a little bit more security. Okay, here I have it all pinned, and I think it's a cool design. Um, but the thing you'll probably want to check now, um, you might want to try it on, or hang it up, because if you hang it up, you can see it's kind of saggy in places, so you might want to tighten up the strands a little bit, but it wouldn't hurt to hold it up and try it on, because saggy ones look kind of weird. Mine on my last sweater, I thought a few were kind of saggy, and I'm kind of sad about it, but I'm going to leave it. Um, so I'm going to pull some of these a little taut, more taut and then sew them on. So here we have them all sewn on. Now I just go through and snip all of these little guys off. Oh, 
cutting the shirt, of course. And we'll flip it out. Pretty cute. Now here, I don't know, I might either sew an X in there or from behind sew them together so they're not seen just to keep them all kind of together. And like I said, right on these kind of edges here, it might be worthwhile from underneath just kind of hand sewing this to the band near the edge without it coming through the front side. I might give it a little bit more kind of support, maybe, oops, sorry, so it won't wrinkle and things like that, but that's the tutorial for this. I um, hope you guys make it. And uh, thanks a lot for liking it.